what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back bringing you guys part seven for my playthrough on pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl for the nintendo switch so guys in the last episode we made our way all the way to hearthrome city and we caught a brand new pokemon for a squad which is houndoom but it's not just any houndoom if you look at the bottom of our team preview you can tell it is a shiny houndoom if you guys haven't checked out that last episode definitely go check it out and also we have bob floatzel and like i said made our way to hearthrome city but in today's video we're going to be heading towards the third gym and taking on a pretty big route i believe it's route 209 not too sure not too sure what the route's called, but we're taking on a big route and head towards the third gym and hopefully making it towards the city of the third gym. If not, definitely the next episode, we will be doing a third gym. But if you guys are excited and enjoying this playthrough, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. But we walk out here. We're going to verse Barry to get this video started. Good old Barry over here. Our rival wants to fight and I'm fine with it. Yo, my team needs XP. I'm going to try to maybe evolve Toge uh, Togepi today. That can be really clutch. That can be really clutch. And Grotto, because Grotto's level 28. You guys know that's four levels for Torterra. That could be very clutch for us. That could be very clutch. But Barry's Pokemon are not even close to being as strong as our Pokemon. But yo, that Endivore did some good damage. That did some big old damage there. Fight comes out and we want to have the Starly. Beautiful. Get it on out my face. But yo, our team is starting to come together really, really well. Look at that. Grottle. Almost a Torterra. We got Floatso fully evolved. We also have, uh, which we are going to show off right here. We got Togepi, which I want to evolve. We just got the uh, the team follower. So now we got Togepi following around us around. So that'll actually make his friendship go up a little bit quicker. So that's good. That is very good. But we got our one and only Floyd Zone. That was one of our uh that was one of our goals in the last episode. Was to evolve Weasel to Floyd Zone, and we ended up doing it. And then more importantly, we got a random shiny encounter out of nowhere. It was actually crazy and it was actually super hype. So again, if you guys haven't checked it out and you want to see my reaction, go over in that video. It's in there. It's towards the end of the video if you guys want to skip through. But it's really cool. It is really cool. Already. Because I originally wanted Hound Doom on my team. It wasn't like I just wanted or I just put Houndoom on my team just because I found it because it was shiny. It was more so like, yo, I want Houndoom on my team. Let's go find a Houndoom. And then I ended up just finding that thing randomly. Just shiny. It was awesome. It was so cool. But the one downfall to him right now is he does not have a fire move. So we got to get him leveled up. Hopefully he can, he can learn a nice little fire move soon. But look at him, yo. Look at him. He's looking gorgeous. He is looking gorgeous in there. Roselia is going to pop out here for his third Pokemon and his... I don't know what his final Pokemon is. I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. Bite's gonna pop through. Yeah. And get off some big damage. Of course. Of course this thing has poison point. Of course this thing is rocking out with poison point, but we do get the flinch. Now I gotta go back and heal and all that good stuff. It's just a pain. It's just a pain. But it might be quicker for me just to do my, like my bag items, use the antidote, and then just potion them up from there. Because you know, when we're recording, time is valuable. Time is valuable when we're recording. We're trying to get a decent amount of stuff done in a in a certain period of time. It's not like we're streaming where we can just take our grand old time. And get after that but uh speaking of streaming if you guys haven't followed my twitch page yet name is on this layout and link is down in the description below definitely go check it out definitely go check out the twitch page loving it we're streaming a lot over there plenty of hours so make sure you hit that follow button and turn on those notifications so you know when i go live doing post game content we probably when this video goes live we already beat the game on my other account and we're doing post game content such as online battles team building completing the pokedex maybe shiny honey all that around but i would love for you guys to pop out it's tons of fun Especially when we do the online battles. I would love to get you guys ideas on what teams we should build. Because we're going to be building teams together. That's how we do it over here in the Jeans community. We build teams together. This thing's going to bite again. It outspeeds me. It made me flinch last turn. Which we don't like. And now our Mega Drain is going to take it out. And we're going to get a good amount of HP back. Love me a Grotto. Love me a good old Grotto. But I cannot wait to get to a Terror. Change this thing to Ground Typing. And this thing is just phenomenal. It gets so much more bulkier. And it hits a lot harder. That's really what Growl's main thing is. It's bulky and it hits like a truck, but its speed is low. So hopefully we're not going up against really any special attackers because I believe this thing's just like a defense bulk. But there we go. Barry's dead. We take him out pretty simple. And now we can just get on our way. Like I said, move towards... Uh, I think we're on, making our way towards Bilestone now. I think that's our plan. But I'm just going to actually just heal up uh, everybody with potions and stuff and things. I think Growl should be fine. I don't think we really need to heal him up considering he has Mega Drain. He does indeed have Mega Drain, and we're actually going to grab this Pokemon egg from this guy. If you guys want to complete the Pokedex, make sure you grab this egg from this dude. It's a nice little Pokemon in there. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it in our party for a little bit. We're not going to put it down on the face cam because it's not going to be part of our team. But, hey, we are rocking out with this egg. This wonderful little egg. Well, we make our way to Route 209, and we're going to get after it. Lots of trainers on this route. It's actually like a two-part system to get to the third gym. You make your way to, up to a town. That town acts as like a break point, and then you make your way to the next town. So we're just going to see how far we can get. I doubt we're going to get to the third gym. 
because this is the route that i've been talking about second to third gym is very long path it's a very long path and then third fourth fifth and six are very close together so it's really good it's really good this guy's gonna throw a nice lovely bond sleep and you know we, we're gonna rock be rocking out with grotto for a good bit of course this thing is sturdy man i always hate going up against sturdy pokemon it is just super whack but yo look at our team at the bottom of the layout got us a nice little shiny enemy that was so hype that was so hype it was legit the first Houndoom. So I was going to just catch the first Houndoom, throw it on the team. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, dude, that thing's like a shade of blue. I'm like, what is that thing? And I'm like, well, no way. I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> a shiny in the playthrough. A shiny in the playthrough. And it wasn't just a random shiny that I'm just going to throw in the box. Like, yeah, we're bringing them to the champion. We are bringing them to the champion. This thing is going to use Pichu. All these Pokemon really aren't going to give us a lot of XP. Kind of just teeing off on them left and right. And we're going to get rolling from there. Let's do it. I was gonna use Razor Leaf. Yeah, oh, yeah. Get the thing gone. Get him gone. Beautiful. Nice little kill on Pichu. Even though I absolutely love Pichu and Raichu, I think they're one of the coolest electric types out there. Uh, but dude, it's going to be the final Pokemon. I'm just gonna keep a Growl out here. Growl's just ripping. Plus, I want to get the XP towards him. Really, really nice. It is really, really nice. I was playing on my other account and I found a lucky egg. You can find some cool stuff. Oh my god, you have Poison Point. Are you kidding me? Looks like we're gonna have to rock up with the Antidote yet again. But, um,. You can find some crazy items in the dens. The underground, you just keep like walking out in and out of the, of the big areas and Pokeballs will respawn. Like I found Lucky Eggs, Dawn Stones, a bunch of different other evolution zones. It was awesome, but I was hyped to find Lucky Egg. Considering the Lucky Egg is a, oh, Pokeball over here. Considering the Lucky Egg gives you an XP boost uh, for whatever Pokemon's holding that. And yo, we got Mime Jr. This is a must catch for a Pokedex. This is an absolute must catch for the Pokedex. Let's get after it, let's get ripping on him. And I think we can just throw a Pokeball. Or, yeah, because I'm going to kill it if not. I'm going to kill it if not, and I should have healed up my Pokemon. Huck this Pokeball. I maybe should have stopped in town and got more. There's a Wiggle. Give me two. Show me three. Click it down. Lock it. Lock it. Yes, sir. Mime Jr. in here. Mime Jr. is a fun catch. Mime Jr. is so cool. I really do like him, and I really do like Mr. Mime a little bit more, considering now that he has fairy typing in his uh in his repertoire. So you should just be psychic. Now Now you add a fairy type, and yo, that's powerhouse. Fairy typing really makes Pokemon powerhouses. The Togepi's over here. Follow me around. I think I got to start using it in the front. I think I got to start using it in the front, but it's all good. It is all good. We are just rolling with our Togepi. Our poor little Togepi. Let's get moving on here. Talk to Fishman. This guy will give you a good rod if you just talk to him. Beautiful. So now I can fish. Now I can get after it. I can fish and do good things. I forgot to actually fish on my other game. If I start fishing in my other game, I can definitely get more Pokemon for my Pokedex. But we're going to roll out here. And do I have Togepi in the front? I actually want Togepi in the second spot. Swap him. And we're going to swap him over here because I want Togepi to be out here for this double battle. Now I'm going to go bag and I do want to just hand off an antidote to Throttle. And then we're going to get ripping on the second battle. We're going to get ripping in the second battle. We have so many trainers on this show. So many trainers, so much XP. I want Torterra. I would love to get Torterra in this episode. It'd be super clutch. And I could definitely see us doing it. Because, like I said, so many trainers on here. But it's not very, like, it's not like a bunch of, like, heavy. Like strong Pokemon that's gonna give us a bunch of XP. It's a bunch of little guys. I'm just gonna uh make a drain here and then Togepi is just gonna go for a lovely Oh yo, let's go with the metronome. Let's see what we're rocking out with Metronome. Let's see what move we're gonna drop with that. Mega Drain's gonna pop. Because Metronome, you can use any move. It is just like a randomizer of all the moves. It's just like, okay, which move are we using right now? Hopefully this thing uses like Draco Meteor. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't affect it. Hopefully we use like Leaf Storm. Something cool. Some cool moon blast would rock out because we have stab. Confusion gonna fly out here. Uh oh, battle. Eat it up all day. Metronome's gonna pop. Let's see what we're cooking. Yo, Togepi, give him the works. He used guard split. Are you kidding me? We use guard split at all the moves. <laughs> we swap guards with the target. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna drop a nice little race leap, and I'm gonna H power. Then I'll just drop an H power. That's a problem. The Togepi has like no moves. He doesn't learn anything. And we don't really have a lot of TMs in this game, so we gotta keep pushing forward to keep doing our thing. Start leveling up this Pokemon. There we go. Get this thing out of here. Get that thing out of here. Beautiful. Double battle. And I, and I always like doing double battles considering you get so many more or so much more XP. This guy's a jogger. He's not a battler. I think this person battles me. Oh no. This person doesn't battle me either. I could have sworn. Uh, oh, this guy battles me. I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was the other way around. The jogger wants to battle us. Jogger Richard. Hello, Richard. How you doing? Put a shirt on, dude. 
Put a shirt on, buddy. <laughs> Even though I wear like cutoffs in like all my videos. <laughs> I'm starting to wear hoodies more because the weather's changing. But most of the time, you guys know your boy's wearing a cutoff. Send out Lexio. We are just going to slap up on this thing with a lovely little razor leaf. Uh, yeah, and this should give us a decent amount of XP considering, obviously, evolution Pokemon give us a bit more. You're going to end up sending a spark. And do I finish them off with a Mega Drain? Oh my lord. Yo, what is up with the status conditions today? The status condition is doing me dirty. This thing should be able to outspeed me now. Yeah, he goes for a charge. Yo, dude, that's a third status condition on our ground. In how long? Like 10 minutes? What you mean? What do you mean? Grizzly pops out here. We're going to say bye-bye, Luxio, and you gone. You gone. We got a crit. We got a crit. Dope. Dope, dope, the dope, dope, dope. Get them on out of here. Give me the XP. The real one. Lovely. Almost to level 30. We're going to be cutting it close. I might have to hit up the underground again and just get a Torterra for today's video. It'll be cool, but again, we have a lot of trainers here. We have a lot of trainers on this route. Go into our bag. This paralyzes you over here. I have to start stacking up on more stuff. But onward, let's get moving here. Got anything over here? Gotta be something chilling here. Yep, Pokeball and an X accuracy. A lovely little X accuracy. Yo, our token piece just like spawning in and out everywhere. Look at <laughs> you just see it like teleporting around. But talk to this guy over here. You can actually do another battle. You do not have to battle this guy, but he's standing there. You want the XP and you're like me. Who likes to just train up against a bunch of Pokemon or beat every single trainer on the routes, then talk to him and beat him up. Dude's got a lovely little Pikachu, and I'm sorry, little buddy. I'm so sorry, little buddy. I'm gonna have to smack up on your poor Pikachu. I'm gonna have to smack up on your poor Pikachu. He do outspeed me, and he is gonna go for a charm. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Drop my attack too. But good thing we do have Giga Drain, which or Mega Drain, which is special attacking. Or it doesn't really matter. It really don't matter. I do not want to. Actually, I do want to use a special attacking move. I do want to use it. I do not want to get like paralyzed from his ability. Do not want to do not want to risk it. Do not want the fourth status condition of the day on my grotto. The Mega Drain's gonna come out here. We'll get a little HP back and we will finish off this battle. But coming up here, there's a, a tower that I want to do. I forget what's at the top. I think you get like TMs and stuff and you get some cool items, but there's a tower here. It's like a ghost tower. It's pretty cool. Actually, what's called with Thrive in there? My boy Houndoom? So we might have to use him. Let's see. We shall see. Let's keep moving this way. Got a bunch of battles. We were almost at the tower. Got to battle him, him, and then we we're actually almost at the town. Because like I said, it's split. The split, it's a split little area. The split area. And we're just going to be pushing up as far as we can in today's video. We actually might only make it to the first town. We shall see. We shall see how this one goes. He does have a Star Ravia. Super effective against my Grotto. But I think, oh, yo, you rock Himidate? Himidate. It's fine. It's all good. We have special attack and Mega Dream. Which we're going to get after. Oh, uh, yeah. That was dumb play. Dumb play, Jeans. You should just you should just use bite. You should just use bite because now she's gonna slap up on you with like a gust or something. Let's see. Wing attack. Ooh. That's easy to eat though. So. We eat up all day. Our boy's pretty bulky. Let's go for a bite here. Even though we are minus one, I think it's still fine. Still might be able to do enough damage to KO. Does not. We need one more. Double Oh no. Oh no. We're in here for the long haul. Nothing's worse than when a Pokemon starts double teaming and you start missing them. But we gotta hit him here. Go ahead, bite him. Oh my lord, I hate this game. We gotta bring out Floatzel. We have Swift on Floatzel. We have to bring out Floatzel. We're gonna go for another bite. We're going for another bite. Land it. <laughs> no, no, no. No! Leave me alone. We're going for another bite. Grottle dies, Grottle dies. Bite. Yes, Grottle. I love you. <laughs> Yo, dude, double team is the worst. <laughs> the absolute worst. Once you get that thing set up, they missed that first one. Say you went for another one totally dodging me he was totally dodging me that would have been awful we defeated jogger Raul. get him on out of here you do you don't deserve to play anymore you're a double teamer you're a double teamer even though it is probably super fun to use gotta catch out on another push we have no revive so good thing my grotto did not you know go down i think he did not go down we'll battle this trainer though get ripping up there there is a honey tree which i kind of want to slather some honey on whip up some honey you know give me a chance to catch some rare pokemon some burn me some Heracrosses. Heracross is super rare to get out of that. So that would totally be clutch. But this guy throws out Mime Jr. I'm ready to rip it down. Ready to rip it down. Let's do it. <clears throat> we can just go for a bite. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Razor Leaf here. Lovely little Razor Leaf. Might be able to one-tap it. Get that stab damage rolling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him gone. But seriously, hopefully you guys are enjoying this playthrough on the channel. We do have Pokemon Sword and Shield content coming. It's actually probably already out by the time I'm recording this. I get my times mixed up because, yo, I've been recording so much i've been recording so much so like i just have videos stacked up and i'm slowly just uploading them over time 
So if I talk about stuff that already happened, that is why. That is why. But like I was saying, we are just like crushing it on content. I'm still bringing you guys Pokemon Sword and Shield. We've been streaming a lot and then BDSP. We're trying to just get it as much done as we possibly can and just rolling out from there. And just going from there. Because you know, in a couple months, we do have Legends Arceus coming out here and that game is going to be hype. That is going to be hype. All the content is going to be here. Guides, all that good stuff. But I'm trying to get done the game so I can actually do guides for you. Dude, and that's the fourth status condition. That is the fourth status condition. But do faint it. Get him, get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit, man. It's whack. I'm running out of antidotes. I'm running out of antidotes. But we're actually almost out of town, which is really good. We have two antidotes left. Four status conditions on the ground for today. Son of a gun. There's a ghastly chill in here. And if you actually come down here, this is where you can get spirit. You need to key soon. And then you do something else with that. It's pretty cool. But let's see what this guy says. Blah, 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 bibbidi, bop, bibbidi, bop, bibbidi, and he gives us stickers. We do indeed love some stickers. And I can actually just make my way up here and find a wild Pokemon. Something we can catch? Nope, Staravia. Staravia. Lovely little Pokemon. Love me a good old Star Raptor. See, if we put a Star Raptor on our team, our team would have been thriving. Our team would have been moving along really well. Just absolutely crushing it. But we're going to run here. I can't get away. What you mean? What do you mean? I'm like 10,000 more levels ahead of you. And I can't run you. And I'm on out of here. But let's head over to this chick right here. Battle her. We got this one. We got this chick. And we're actually almost at the first town. But we still have to go through that whole lost tower. That ghost tower. Oh, and this chick's a five Pokemon person. I think it's an all Bidoof team. I think it's an all Bidoof team. Nothing's worse than bursting these trainers. It's really rough. It is really rough. Because A, you don't really get a lot of XP from these little Pokemon, and B, it's you kind of just sitting here wasting your time. We don't like it. We don't like it one bit. It's it's awful. It is awful. <laughs> there we go. Bidoof faints. We do get some HP back. That does work in my favor because I did need some HP. And she's gonna send out another Bidoof. Another Bidoof. And this could be good for my uh my Togepi. Could be good for my Togepi, but we're just gonna run this. Eventually, we'll get Togepi out here. We didn't KO. I should just start sending Rage Leaf. Probably would have been my play. What's Bidoof gonna do? Growl? He headbutts you. This son of a biscuit. This chunky tooth ugly guy over here wants to pull that on me. He wants to pull that. We'll drop this. Yeet. Get him on out of here. Get him gone. Get him gone. I do like having, uh. I do really like having Giga Drain on my, uh. Or Giga Drain, Mega Drain on my throttle, but he is physical attacking, so I think later we might not even be rocking that move. Might be rocking like we definitely we're definitely rolling with EQ on this Pokemon. 100 percent EQ on this Pokemon. We might just have Giga Drain just to do damage and get HP. We'll see. And then I know we learned like a bigger uh grass move. Way better grass move. So we'll just see how it goes. I know this thing's an absolute tank and hits like a truck, so giving these things like heavy hitting moves, it's gonna be wonderful. It's going to be one. But do I send out like the Togepi here? I could send out the lovely little Togepi. But again, today's episode is all about evolving Rattle. I definitely want to get him evolved. He's super close. The next episode, we might focus on evolving uh, Togepi. If, uh, unless he evolves this episode. But we're going to definitely need him up in the front to kind of get that friendship up. And I heard it's not too hard to actually get the friendship level up once you unlock the, uh, the run around with the Pokemon. Like we have now. So Togepi is actually just getting friendship up. Just by us moving around, which is pretty cool. So, let's roll here. And is this double battle? This might be a double battle. Let's actually do double battle. This is double battle? I think it is. Me and Togepi can rip it up. Me and Togepi can do him dirty. It's only two Pokemon, so it ain't no big deal. He's gonna send out Metatite and Machop. Okay, so two little fighting Pokemon. Should be chilling. Should be thriving. I wish I did have a fairy move on this one. We could low-key rip. But I'm just gonna drop this nice little, uh... Nice little thing over here. And Ancient Power really ain't going to do much. So I might as well just go for a metronome. And test our luck. Ground's going to send a Rage Leaf. How much damage are we doing on both of them? Okay. That's pretty simple. Metatite gone. And Machamp or Machop. Machop. Blah, blah, blah. Machop is on one. Machop is on one. So hopefully we can just use a move. Go ahead. Don't use no like stat move or anything. Just attack this thing. High horsepower. Yes, sir, Togepi. Rip it up. <laughs> <laughs> Drops a high horsepower. Yo, we love Metronome. We love Metronome around here. Awesome. Togepi picking up a big old KO. Getting his friendship up. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. 
Look cool. We get all this XP. Now we can actually roll into this lost tower. Let's see what this guy has to say about it. We depart it. Where depart it? Pokemon sleep. This is the lost tower. Okay. Let's head in there. We gotta get to the top here. We gotta get to the top here. And I can actually check my item finder, which could be pretty cool. Look at that. About nine o'clock in the morning. Gene's getting after this game. Do I have the item finder? I do indeed. Let's check it. Never know. Never know. Always check your item finder. Always see if you guys can get a, like, a cool little item here. Let's roll out here. We gotta battle this little dude. This little booger. And we're just gonna rip him up. There is a few decent trainers in this uh in this part. There is a few decent trainers over in this area. So we can kind of just like get more with them. They have Stunky, which I'm hoping doesn't have Poison Point. Could be definitely annoying. But you know our boy's been four times status condition today already. Let's just drop a Race Leaf and get after this dude. Race Leaf popping. Should be able to one hit him, right? Nope. Uh, I thought he was level 14. He's level 16. Focus Energy's gonna come out here. We just gonna chomp up on this fool and we gonna say GG's. Get him on out of here. I wish it was a Stunk Tank because again we would get a lot more XP for it. But we gonna bite up on it. Yeet. And yes, not very effective, but I knew it would do enough to pick up the KO. Good work, Rattle. Good work, buddy. Let's get that XP. Let's get it flowing. He's about to send out a Cricketune. And I'm going to swap into... I'm going to swap into Houndoom here. Get Houndoom a little love in here. Watch him pop out here. Give this a shiny feature. All right, check this out, yo. Blue. Look at him, yo. Dude, I'm loving him. I'm loving him. And I'm so glad they had animated shiny sprites. I was going to be upset if I had to use a regular shot or a regular sprite on a shiny Houndoom. Just be a little whack, but let's just send our nice little bites and just start chomping down on this cricket team here. Look at him. Look at Shiny Hound. I'm picking up a crit. Let him know he wants to be on the team. He's letting us know. He's like, yo, I'm here to play. I'm here to play. Togepi gets that level up 27. Team's getting some nice levels up here. Now he's about to send out shells, and we are going to switch back into my main man, Growl. We love us some Growl. We absolutely love us. Some we love a good old Growl. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to drop the Shellos, and we're going to get ripping. I wish, again, I wish it was a Gastron. This is a nice little way to level up if, if uh, we go down to the underground and we go into that one down with all the Gastrons rolling around. It's really good for us. It is really, really good for us. Well, let's just say, here we go. Take him out, and now let's get moving on. Let's get moving on here. Do, 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 do. Grab his Pokeball. Can I forget that? Step on your right foot. Don't forget it. A lot of people do not know what that's from. If you don't, you're crazy. It's from SpongeBob, where like he's uh, I forget. He's teaching, oh, he's teaching Squibber how to blow a bubble. <laughs> he's like, you gotta do all these crazy things. He's like, step on your right foot. Don't forget it. Bring it around town. <laughs> Dude, SpongeBob quotes are unbeatable. They're unmatched. Absolutely unmatched. But we got a little bat full of zoos that we're just gonna let let live. We're not gonna kill it. We're just going to keep moving here. We got a few trainers to beat. Two right here. I think it's more and more. I think it starts to get more and more. I think we have a few more fullers left, but hey, we're going to crush this lost tower. I'm telling you, we're getting toward tower today. We're super close. If I have to go down and slap up on some Gastrons, we'll go down and slap up on some Gastrons. I don't mind it because we're so close and I'd rather just get it for you guys. Do you know Tor Terror is the man. Tor Terror is the man. We'll drop a Razor Leaf. This Razor Leaf should just be able to slap up on him. Getting after it. Get him on out of here. Cleffa gone. But we're going to be a great level for this gym. We've actually been leveling up really well with this team. More, well, better than my, what's it called? Better than my other team. My stream team. And it's weird because I put more time into my stream team. And I feel like I, I wasn't running around or running through the story as quick as I am now. It's really weird. It's really weird. Because the highest level of the next Pokemon is 30. And we already have a Grotto level 30. I think I only had like one or two Pokemon level 30 at that time. And it's looking like after all these routes, our whole team's going to be level 30. So that's sick. That's really sick. This guy's gonna send out a nice little Pichu. Yo, can you send out some better Pokemon so we get more XP? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it, Grandpa. Well, that's too dang bad. <laughs> I just love me some memes, man. Love me some memes. Play nice is gonna come out here. I thought I was gonna say play rough. This thing uses a play nice. And it is going to drop our attack, right? Drops our attack. We are going to hit him with a special attack and move then. Hopefully we can kill it in one shot. And then we might swap. Let me my spot. Pichu, get on out of here. Get on out of here. We do not want you. We do not want you. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see who he's going to send out next. Let's see it. Hit my button. Get my levels up. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Pichu's going to... Or Pikachu is going to come out here. And there we go. That's what we'd like to see. We'd like to see the more XP. The more XP, the merrier. Um, I'm just going to bite this thing. 
Our attack did drop, which is a little rough, but we'll see how much a bike can do. Quick attack doing three damage, yo. We are so bulky. Bike comes out here, and dude. Oh my lord, number five. Give it up for number five, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for number five. I should have saw that coming. Our fifth status condition on a grotto. Rough. That, this might be a record for a video. Five status conditions in one. And we are paralyzed. What do you mean? We are paralyzed. Whack. This thing's going to just start dropping quick attacks. Hopefully, we can land this bite and then I can swap my Pokemon. There we go. We'll get them all out of here. Static. Come on, man. Come on. Super whack. Super whack. Let's see if we're going to get out of here. He's going to get out of Pichu here. We are just going to swap into uh, Houndoom here. Give Houndoom a little loving. Love me some Houndoom. But once Houndoom learns a nice little fire move, he can uh, he can do good. He can do a lot better. But I wish... I'm hoping we can get a Togetic before we face off with the next gym. Give it a flying move. That would be so beneficial because the next gym is fighting. So we definitely... We can definitely benefit from that. Fight's going to fly here. Show me this thing doesn't have static. Number six, ladies and gentlemen. Number six is popping here. Whack. These dank Pikachus, these dank statics, and poison points from Badoos and stuff. Roselia's just doing us dirty. Just doing us dirty. There's number six on the day. Number six on the day. Yo, here. I'm not even going to give one to my Houndoom. I only have one. It's just going to go to my Grotto because we've been using Grotto. So, Grotto, there you go, buddy. Autobots, roll out. Let's go. On to the next floor. Might be a double battle up here. Let's see. Yep, there is a double battle up here. So, Grotto and Toki. There's two double battles, I should say. Not one, but two double battles. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Toki fan Rebecca over here with only one Pokemon, and it is a Bonsly. Tell us Bonsly to get out of here. Hopefully, it is not sturdy. I'm going to guess it's not sturdy. We're going to roll our dice and say, hey, yo, you ain't sturdy. We're just going to drop a Mega Drain. Has a higher chance of hitting. So, rather not miss her move. And it is sturdy, you son of a biscuit, dude. I do really like his, like, hairdo, I guess you should call it. Or, like, his tree leaves on top of his head. Just three perfectly perfect spears. Perfect little spheres over there on his head. Just looking awesome. Drop a nice little bite. Let's finish this battle up. Oh, yeah. Get him on out of here. And will that bring us to level 31? We're going to be cutting it close for 31. We're going to be cutting it close for 31. Oh, no, we're not. I thought we were a lot closer than that. We just leveled up. Mime Jr. Though. We don't care about Mime. We do not care about Mime Jr. But Mime Jr.'s dead. It's fine. We'll bring out uh, the Togepi for this one. Get a little double battle on. But I believe next floor is the top floor. I believe the next floor is the top floor. And I wonder... I don't know if we have to do this. I don't know if we have to do Lost Tower. But I'm obviously going to do it. I think we get a pretty cool item and stuff. Which is good. But it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it to do the Lost Tower. Get all this XP. Let's just Mega Drain up on this thing. And I can just drop an Ancient Power, which is super effective. Up against this Este El Bonita. I don't know why I call it like a Spanish name. Este El. I don't even know. I don't even know what that really means. I just know it's Spanish. <laughs> I just know it's Spanish. And I like saying it. And I like saying it. But Mega Drains can come out here. Say, Buizel, get on out my game. And let's see how much damage this Ancient Power can do. Let's see how much strength this Togepi is this cooking up with. Houndoom gets level 28. Awesome. Dope. And Ancient Power's gonna fly. Yeah. Oy. Togepi whipping. Togepi whipping. Doing some good damage. And we get the stat boost. I love I love Togepi's abilities. Serene Grace. That give us additional bonus for our moves to actually land. It's just great all around. A bite's gonna fly here, and we're just gonna drop another Ancient Power. Maybe the bite misses. And this thing has speeds. He goes for Flame Charge. Togepi says, yo, that's a that's an easy eat, baby. That's an easy eat. This thing gets another speed boost, but it's gonna die. Togepi's faster than the Grottle. Wow. Oh, well, with the speed boost. With the speed boost. Love to see it, yo. Togepi. Hitting hard just needs more moves. Needs more moves. Give me that XP. Let's roll out. And we do have another double battle right here. We do have back-to-back -back double battles. Little bit of double battles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's roll it. Run it. And, of course, we find a wild Pokemon. I was wondering. I was in there. I was like, yo, what is this? Ghastly's gonna pop. I could catch it. I could catch a Ghastly because I don't think we have this. But... I think we'll just save that for later. Let's just finish up this Lost Tower. Yeah, we do not have a Ghastly yet in this playthrough. And I can't get it. What you mean? Oh, now it mean looks me. Looks like you're dead, man. Actually, we should just be able to throw a Pokeball at it. Let's just throw a Pokeball at it. See if we can catch it. Pokeball. Uh, give it up. Come here. Yes. 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 Catch it. But yo, that's the best part of that uh, early game. You can legit just throw Pokeballs. You can just throw Pokeballs and it's just easy. It's just all day. Beautiful. 
Get them on out of here. Get them on out of here. Put them in a box. Straight to our box. Would love a Gengar, though. Would absolutely love a Gengar. We can go over here, get ourselves TM27. A little bit of low sweep action. Loving it. And I have to go all the way up and around again. God dang, can we run from this thing or can it be shiny? Imagine if it was shiny. Yo. If it was a shiny Gengar, we would have to take this thing on our team. We would have to take this thing on our team. And I definitely would. I would swap them out for a Pokemon Lakey. That would be sick. Why can't I like run these battles? Thank you. Thank you. I think we need a faster Pokemon in the front. But it is all good. Let's go here. We just double battle. It'll double battle. Come on, baby. What you want? Like I said, I believe this is the last fort for you. And I could just use an escape rope at this point. Because I really wouldn't feel like going all the way back down. <laughs> It'd probably be more easier and more beneficial for me to do that. But Mischievous and Merkur come out here. Two very cool dark and ghost type of Very cool Pokemon. Love me a Hauntra. Love me a second stage of the other Pokemon. I totally forget what it's called. It's a... Uh, Mischievous and Miss Magius, that's what it is. He's gonna end up pecking my Togepi. That's fine. And this thing is going to growl and drop my physical attack. Murkrow's definitely gonna do it down. I don't know about Mischievous here. Look at this Razor Leaf. This Togepi's coming in hot. Togepi's coming in hot with all these fossil rocks being thrown at people. Let's see it. Make it happen, Togepi. Make it happen. Look at my Togepi. Getting after it. Ancient power flying. Get it. Get it, baby. You gone, your Togepi. Hopefully he gets this level up. I would love to see a big old Evo from him. I would love to see a big old Evo from him. Let's go here. Drop a Mega Drain. Mega Drain should be able to pick up the KO. And we'll drop an H Power. Just in case. Chibi's going to go for a Confusion. That's fine. It's easy each for Grottle. Hopefully he doesn't get confused. He does not. And Mega Drain should finish off this battle, right? It does not. It does not. So Togepi going to have to do the dirty work again. Togepi going to have to do the dirty work again. Get him, Togi. Togi with a W. I'm loving this Pokemon, yo. This thing's got to evolve. We just got to get this thing to evolve. Like I said, if we... uh, Probably next episode, we're going to just focus on Togepi and evolving that guy. We got to get him up here. He's starting to get to the higher levels. He needs to get those levels up. He needs to evolve. He needs to evolve. But I think we're at the top here, right? Show me the top. We are at the top. Beautiful. And we can talk to these guys and finish up the Lost Tower. I believe both these guys will just give us a cool little item. That's pretty much it. TM96. Awesome. We get that, and that gives us strength. That's how you get strength. That is it. So we have to do this. We get strength. Dope. Cool. And let's go here. And will he give me something? Yes, and he gives me a cleanse egg. So we get strength. Awesome. Cool. All around. And now I should have an escape rope. To actually just uh, make life 10 times easier for us. And just dip this spot. Be in here. Yes, sir, there's my little escape rope. Let's use it. I'm not running down there. I'm not running back down there. And we finish up the lost tower. We finish up the lovely little lost tower. Cool, dope, awesome. You love to see it. Now we can actually make our way over to Cilician Town. And this is where you actually get the breeder. This is where you actually get the breeder. And we are halfway to Vile Town. Or Vile Stone Town. Whatever you want to call it. And like I said, we have a big route in front of us. But one thing I want to do is I think we should evolve Grottle. I think Grottle should be evolved. I think we should we should get him ripping here. Be really beneficial for us. Let's do it. Let's go evolve Grottle. I actually want to go over here and actually do maybe like one or two battles. And then head to that underground. And finish it up that way because there is a few few people that we got to verse on this route. So we might as well get, get it started. We might as well get these dudes started. We'll, we'll battle these first two. Get them out the way so we're not doing it in the next episode. And then we'll head down to that underground and go slap up on some gash. Apom going to get that spawn. And Growl going to get out here. Well, that's what's so beneficial about the underground. It's just the, the amount of XP you can get. You just get a rid ridiculous amount of XP. And it's just great all around. Basically popping. Oh, take him out. Yes, sir. Give me XP. Can we get the 31 by the time by the time we finish up with these things? Oh, we should be able to. We should be able to. He's going to send out a giraffe rig. I, I love me a cool giraffe rig. I think that's such a cool Pokemon. I really do think it's a dope Pokemon. Razor Leaf's going to pop. And this thing has insurance. A lot of things outspeed my, my Grotto. My poor Grotto. I feel like in like competitive, he would be really good with a choice car. Just like a nice big old choice car from the back. Give him that little boost actually just... uh. Go through people. Do we have a rare candy? I think we might have a rare candy. No, I don't think we do have a rare candy. That would be clutch. A rare candy would be clutch right now because I would totally give it to him. I would totally give it to him. Let's go for another race leaf and of course he was. And I was gonna go for a mega drain. I was gonna go for a mega drain there just for like sheer fact because like we can miss our race leaf. And I feel like we miss it all the time. It's really rough. But let's go for another one. There's no way we missed two in a row. 
Beautiful. Get him out of here. Psyduck, you gone. Get on out of my game. But yo, not a bad episode today. Mainly use Grotto, got strength, finish up that hidden tower. But more importantly, we, we, we evolved this dude. Mine wants to learn to move. Protect. Get on out of here, dude. You ain't learning protect. You are not learning protect. What something I do like about the older games is the TMs. How they, how they didn't break. I really did like that. And of course, we move one step and we find a Pokemon. And here's another Mime Jr. We already caught you today, buddy. We already caught you today, Mime Jr. Battle, I know you can do it. Awesome. Just want it. And like I said, I want to verse this second guy and then head to that underground and rip up. That's the plan. That's the plan. Give me this bike. Get on up here. Eey. There you go. Let's do this one. There's a double battle. And I've been saying, yo, this uh, this next route is... Uh, I don't think it's that long. I think it's just a combination of both the routes are long to get to Vilestone Town. But I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that in the next episode we can clear out this town and maybe hit up the, the next gym. That would be that would be my ideal next play. That would be my ideal thing to do. But this thing is going to outspeed me. And he's just going to go for an agility and boost his speed. When he doesn't need it. He does not need to boost his speed. There's no need for it. Unless we were boosting our speed, but we're not. Let's go for the bite. Yeah. Big old damage. This thing outspeeds me. It's probably going to hit me with like a flame wheel. Nope. Goes for another agility. You stupid dog. You stupid Esta El Ponita. Let's get him on out of here. Biting down. Uh, get my chompers down. And see it, Ponita. So awesome. Great way to actually uh, finish off the video before we go underground. It's the end of right here. I just think it's a great spot. I think it's a great spot. We made our way decently down this route. Now I can just go here. Or do I have to set all my, my thing? No, I do not. I do not have it registered. But we're going to go over here and go to our... Key items and go to Explorer's Kit. Use this item. Which mode would you like to enter it in? Playing alone. I'm being a loner today. Drop it down. Let's get this Torterra. Let's get this Torterra. But let's just see this one right here. Let's see this biome. Hopefully it's the one with the Gastron. That, that is like the best one to level up with. Considering we are four times super effective. We want to tap him up all day. Make it make a Gastron one. Oh, Spish Cave. Is there Gravelers here? Or like Onyxes? That'd be really good for us. Any Gravelers or Onyxes? We're gonna head in and out. We're gonna head in and out because I think there is Gravelers and Onyxes that spawn here. Let's see. There's Geodudes. Babiros aren't bad. Let's, let's, let's whip up on a Babiro. Let's see how much XP a Babiro can give us because he is second evolution. It is water, so he will be super effective. And it'll be a decent level. He will be a decent level at the same time. So let's make it happen. Babiro out on the field. Oh, he's 25. Level 25. He's gonna use an Aqua Tail. Yo, he slap me up with a tail. You know what? You gonna get this razor leaf dog. You, you, see you later. Oh, he doesn't die. Whack. We don't want to happen. This is why I like the verse to Gastrons. This is why I like the verse to Gastrons. This thing's gonna yawn on me. Son of a gun. You son of a gun. Give me my Torterra. Yeet. Yeah. But now that we're starting to get like Pokemon more evolved and everything, we can start using a variety. So we're not just like using one same Pokemon the whole time. Oh, they give a decent amount of XP. 568. We'd love to see it. Togepi gets level up and he wants to learn after you to keep old moves after you isn't really a double move there's no need for that and will togepi evolve that could be clutch no it doesn't got any other biggins over here a beer come here come here boy let me tell you something let me tell you something a beer take this thing out yeah but beers aren't barely level with but obviously the gas are better because we can obviously one shot him no problem it's just no problem for us absolutely no problem he's 26 we're gonna go for another race leaf this will probably not kill and this thing's gonna yawn me which we should be fine. Two turns. That's all we need. That's all we need is two turns. Unless this Razor Leaf misses. But it connects. Beautiful. And we cannot take out these materials in one shot. We cannot do it. It's rough for us. It is rough for us. Headbutt's gonna fly. It's easy eats. Rattles teen off. Oh, no. No. What do you mean? He makes us flinch. I'm just gonna keep biting down on him. He's gonna go for Fury Swipes. And Grottle is big enough boy to do this on his own. He hits me two times. Wake up, Grottle. We're fast asleep. It's fine. Next turn, we're waking up. Two turns sleep. That's that's what we do. That's what we do. This thing is going to taunt me. What's up with all these single Pokemon using double moves? These dudes are crazy. Three turns sleep. Get them all out of here, yo. Three turns sleep. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. There we go. Grotto wakes up. And we get an after it. Really? Gone. Get him gone. We get a crit. Just to rub it in his face. Just rub it in his face. Give me that 500 XP. I think a couple more. Oh, 600. I think two, like two more Babirials will be flying here anymore. We should enter and exit. We exit. We entering back in. Should we grab I would like to first grab I know they do spawn here. But Babirials aren't bad. I don't mind for some Babirials. There's a Houndoom. Yo, is it going to be shiny? Can you imagine? 
Nova Beerles? Not down here. We're heading in and out. You know the deal, people. You know the deal. Let's see what we got. Come on. Oh, we'll grab one. Oh, that's a Rhyhorn. I would rather versus these Babirals. I would rather versus these Babirals. There are Skunk Tanks, but, you know, obviously, Skunk Tank can do some work on us. Babirals are a lot easier to KO. But Skunk Tank would probably give us more XP. Let's see what level this thing is. 25. Drop a Razor Leaf. Drop a Razor Leaf on this thing. This thing's headbutting me. Good thing we're defensive bulked up. And Razor Leaf is going to fly. Yeet. And, oh, we get the one tap. Is that a crit? No, we're just, we're just feeling good. We're just feeling good. And I think one more, we get that, we get that Evo. I think one more and we get that Evo. That's huge. I do want to use a potion just to make sure this thing doesn't die out. Son of a biscuit. This thing's chasing me down. This thing's chasing me down. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And oh, I have to make sure before we record next video that we get uh, what's it called. That we get some items and stuff and things. Let's head in and out. Just respawn everything because that might have been the only Babiril there. And we're going to take out the next one. That's Stunky over here. Here's Babiril. Anything else cool? Nah, yo, Babiro, get on out of here. Yo, let's get ourselves a Tour Terror for the squad. A Tour Terror for the squad looking good. Next episode, we'll use them up a little bit, but I feel like focusing on, like, Togepi and Houndoom and all that good stuff. And, and showing off Floatzel a little bit, because Floatzel, you know, Floatzel's a beast. Headbutt's going to fly from him. Can we take it out in one shot? Do him dirty. Race leaf. Pop him. Yo, get him out of here. Nope, he's 27. He's level 27. Let's bite him down. Let's grab ourselves a Tour Terror, baby. He's going to yawn, yo, I swear. I swear, if we miss our bite or something, that will be sad, and we go to sleep. Just make things longer. Bite pops down. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. He faints. Should be enough XP for us, right? Let's go, yo. Grottle is about to evolve. We are going to have a Torterra on the squad. He wants to learn Leech Seed, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let him learn Leech Seed. Leech Seed's a nice little move. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of... Actually, no, I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna learn, uh, Leech Seed. I just feel like we're not gonna be using it at all. We need that for like double battles when we're doing online stuff, but that's about it. But there it is, level 32, the main man Grotto evolves. We get ourselves our final evolution before the third gym. Before the third gym, we are rolling with the levels. Give me a tour tower for the squad, and we can have it down in our layout with the anime. It looks sick. It looks so sick, yo. Tour terror. Oh my lord. Your Grotto evolves into a tour terror. Dude, that thing looks so tough. So tough. Retire's data will be added. Look at his footprint, yo. Monster footprint. Retire wants to learn to move Earthquake. Oh, yes, sir. Forget old moves. Of course we will. Uh, we're going to get rid of Bite at this point. We are going to just get rid of Bite. We do not need that anymore. I like the moveset of Razor Leaf, Mega Drain, Growth, and Earthquake. That sounded deadly. And there we go. We get that guy right there. Let's head up there. Let's finish off today's video. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we are going to be heading towards their third gym, which is in Bilestone City, and maybe even taking it on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.